G'day there, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Merv Dart. Now, I've actually created this one with console commands because I didn't actually realize you needed the schematics to actually craft this thing. So, here we are at Fort Strong. This is where you'll actually find the schematics. So, before you look at this thing on a workbench, we'll go ahead and uh, find out where we are. And um, you can tell that's changed by the mod because that's in German. That's, uh, that's a good stitch up, Warmock. Once inside, if you've already done Fire from the Sky, I think it is for the Brotherhood of Steel, there should be no super mutants around, so there's literally no resistance to going in here. For lower level people, it might be a little bit more of a problem. But anyways, what you want to do is pick up this hollow tape here. It'll give you a little bit of a backstory towards the lore implications of this weapon. Non-canon, but um, more canon than all the Creation Club stuff, so there you go. And with that, we've actually got all of the schematics we need to actually build this weapon and its ammo on a weapons workbench. So yeah, we'll see how that all goes, shall we? Righto, so here we are back on a workbench with a vanilla fat man because all of this mod does is just adds upon the receivers you can get onto it. So going into the receiver section here, or the launcher section, there's the Merv Dart launcher. We can attach that very, very easily. It will take a lot of resources and some perk. Um, investments, so yeah, it's a proper end game weapon this thing is. And crafting the ammo is super easy too, you'll find it under grenades and in under Merv cluster. This is the resources it will take, including a mini nuke, so make sure you have plenty of those bad boys, and there's the perk um, requirement there. So let's go ahead and create some of these, and I'll see you in Gunner's <laughs> Plaza. Although before that, I'm wondering if this thing still suffers from the Merv glitch with if you shoot it too low of an angle, it'll explode right under your feet no matter where the missile or the projectile actually hits. So it'll be hitting in the water, decently far away from me. Yep, still broken. That's a shame. But the thing about the Merv Dart is, at close range, you're probably going to use something else anyway, like you'd want with basically all Fat Mans, but the thing that it excels in is actually at range. So this is our Merv Dart, we'll leave that for later, but this is just a standard Fat Man, just firing at this sort of level, just to see what kind of range we get. It's okay, pretty good. The projectile is slow, which does um, mean leading targets is kind of hard, especially when it drops like it does. But that's fine. If we go ahead and fire the Merv, we get about half the range we get with the normal shell, firing from an even higher angle. So that's not great. But moving on to the Merv dart here, as you can tell, we send it a lot further. And we also send the uh, uh, child projectiles, as they're called in the creation kit, to about the same distance, although we had a little bit more angling there. They also move a little bit quicker too, by the looks of it, which is nice. So. At range, this thing is going to be more effective than the Merv, which is good, but it'll have three projectiles going off at once, so it should do more damage than the um, regular Fat Man too. So yeah, for an endgame Fat Man, this definitely ticks the boxes in that sort of thing. So yeah, we'll go ahead and test it out. We'll also keep the repeater on us to deal with anything that's a little bit too close for us. Righto, so here we are outside of Gunner's Plaza of the immersive outdoor variety in the daylight so we can actually see what this thing looks like. In third person, it's basically what you'd expect from a Fat Man with the recon targeting computer on the front, which is actually a cut game element, which is strange. But anyways, um, one of the quirks of this thing is it's actually got the lock-on ability, but if you decide to, you know, angle this thing up, the child projectiles will actually shoot down to the... Um, ground very fast, whereas if you were to shoot this on a more straight trajectory, they'll actually fly out a lot further. See, so look at that. So that's a little bit of inconsistency about this particular mod, which makes it a little bit hard to use and super unpredictable, because um, the amount of angle you put in really does affect how the projectiles are going to fly, and that really does limit its range capability, so maybe I was overestimating this weapon, and by saying it's more of a range solution than the Merv. Whilst the Merv is broken like this, it actually has a decent the, uh, predictable pattern of where it's going to explode, and it doesn't really, um, the projectiles always fly out the same no matter how you shoot it. And I think if I manage to touch the ground with that um, first particular projectile going from this angle, I probably would kill myself. So what I'm going to do here is just crit this guy. We'll see how this thing works in bats. There's the custom projectiles there, looking pretty good. And we got two decent hits on him, which is nice. 
Ha, huh, there's the creation of up gunner. We'll go ahead and skip some darts over in her direction. Yep, seems to be going well. I think she shot us a few times because we're into nerd rage. Now, when you come against elevated targets like this particular fella up here, this is when you'll see the flaws of this thing's projectile and how it works really show because the projectile only gets about halfway and we didn't even clear that giant GNR statue there, so... I don't know, it's a little bit hard to use this thing. It's definitely doing the damage, but it's just hard to actually get the projectiles to where you actually want them. We're about to die here too. I died by my own hand so the gunners wouldn't kill me. But you get the idea of this thing. I do really like the aesthetics and the feel of this mod, but I feel like this what? thing is in a broken state, which doesn't make it particularly what? fun to use. We'll try to get these gunners this time, though. We'll see how we go. Missed a lot of the shots there because we landed on the stairs. We'll apply a little more angle. There we go. That's a little bit better. And these boats, we'll just go ahead and fire like that. There is, guys. I'm not really sure how I can deal with these guys except for like running up to them and that. But even then, the projectiles shoot to the ground directly in front of me, so it's really hard to judge how to get those elevated targets. And I've already lost like 70% of my health at this point, so yeah, this run isn't going to work either. So yeah, still not convinced about this weapon. I think when I initially tested it, it did perform better. I don't remember it being as bad, but I did test it in the confines of Gunner's Plaza, and that doesn't really um, have a lot of verticality to it, unless you um, decide to go from the underside and work your way up like you would going through those doors there. But there you go, there's a little bit of a look and feel of this weapon. I'm not really sure what else I can add to this thing. Maybe I'll go fight a monster if I make it through this fight after this, but other than that, I'm pretty sure I'd be better off using my pipe gun that I can just sneak attack crit with. We'll try to persevere though. We died again. Okay, we'll move on to a monster. Righto, so Swan's over there. Let's, let's go and kill him. Hopefully the Merv dart would make short work of him. We'll see how we go over range on a super big target like this. I think they'll just shoot straight into the ground before him. We did catch him in a little bit of splash damage though, so that's okay. He's actually been knocked down from that. I don't know why Fat Man's knocked Swan down like that, but for some reason they just like to. So this fight is as good as ours already, we've only just began. I'm noticing the, uh, that we are missing with some of the projectiles though, so hopefully if we go into that tier. There we go. I th I'm pretty sure I saw three 795s there, which works. They just work. Now, I know you probably said on making this thing a projectile that splits into three smaller projectiles, but what I'd actually like to see from this is um, just the three smaller um, mini nuke projectiles fired kind of like a shotgun in a sort of tight cone. I feel like that would work a whole lot better. That way you could get them working with the um, seeking effect a lot easier as well because that way um, they'll just be like missiles with gravity attached to them. And that way you could actually fire them at a low angle which um, won't bloody kill you if you decide to you know, get in the blast radius that isn't there. So since this one is pretty much on ice at this point, let's go ahead and get ourselves some Psycho. Stop! Bring it! Yay, more animated camps. I, I was impressed by the Medex yesterday, so I wanted to bring in more. There we go, that's the sort of damage we need. An extra 25%, we can hit 1k with all of the projectiles, and we'll be able to kill him very, very quickly. I think the sweet spot of this thing is holding it at this sort of project, uh, trajectory, and then launching it over a distance, is because it keeps you out of harm's way from the explosions to an extent if you don't fire it from a too low of an angle and you get the most range out of it and it's kind of satisfying to ping him all the way from here with a um, weapon like this. Let's see if the seeking thing works if they're like that. Okay, if we're aiming towards a flat trajectory looks like the seeking works a whole lot better. Maybe for further updates you can give us like a 5 um, 
uh, a five shooting thing where it shoots five of the Murph darts at a time. That'd be cool. Because while this thing does a whole lot of damage, this one is tanking it quite easily. It's okay, we can just keep on ragdolling him. It's fine. Fuck! Again! God damn it. I think there's a lesson to be learned about this. It's um that Captain Noob and Fat Man Mervs they don't mix very well. So I think I'm gonna call it there. And um, that's the first major defeat of the angels there. That's not very good, is it? Um we'll we'll get them next time. Mission fair, we'll get them next time. But that's okay. There's a little bit of work that needs to be done here, in my opinion. It looks good. It looks and feels good. The projectiles on the um the barrel on the thing there look nice, but I feel like you can improve it just by changing this thing at a core level there, because the Merv in itself, it's it's broken. You're going to have to redesign it or maybe do some scripting to make sure it isn't broken if you want to keep it the way it is. But honestly, I'd just make it three different missile projectiles with a small cone of fire to make sure they don't overlap when you actually fire the thing. That is how I'd do it anyway, because this, it's, it's not fun to get killed by this when you just decide to shoot it on a tiny little angle. We, we survived that time. Um, but you get the point. If we go over here. There we go. So yeah, we'll, we'll pick things up tomorrow and see how we go with a different weapon.